Well, you're very welcome to Sanctify Ho in the new education shelter. My name is Paul Holt. I'm the partnership officer here for the Whitecliffs Countryside Partnership. And today we are talking to my colleague Steve Walker, who is a brilliant artist. Hi, I'm Steve, and I work here too. I'm a ranger here. And uh, I love this amazing place. And over the years, I have been doing some of my pictures. So, Steve, before we actually talk about your artwork, it'd be really interesting to know a bit about your background. When, when I was young, I used to love drawing. And uh, the problem with colour that I had was that the pigment all used to go muddy, which I really didn't like. And so I've, I really struggled with that. However, when I've got older, I found that digital uh, uh, tablet that I use actually produces these wonderful bright colours and that really helps me in making these images. So Steve, you mentioned about your childhood and, the, and how art has been important to you. How about in your, your early career? Well Paul, when I went to work, I actually worked in dark rooms uh, doing black and white printing and one of the things to do with black and white printing is the negative actually has to be lit by, backlit by a light and so in some ways I was actually working with light uh, for most of my first career. So that leads us nicely on to the exhibition, what is Painting with Light? Painting with Light is in fact called Colour Addition and it's where you, when you mix red, blue and green together they actually make white Whereas when you work with pigment, when you add the colours red, blue and yellow together, they actually kind of make a sort of muddy, dark grey coming on towards black. And I think it was that muddiness that was a real problem for me. Whereas the painting with light, this colour addition, um, which where you end up with these bright, pure colours, um, is what really fascinates me. So what we're, I'm really interested to know is what's the inspiration behind these drawings? So working here, lots and lots of different things happen and uh, sometimes you can get these down on a photograph, you get these wonderful cloud effects and um, see these wonderful species of plants and, and animals and, uh, but there are other kinds of stories that take place which you just cannot photograph and the only way that I've found that I can get those down on a bit on a, on paper, so to speak, is to actually draw them. What I'm really interested, Steve, is how do you do these paintings? After after a long day at work, when lots of things have been happening, I get home and relax in the evening, sitting on the sofa, and I get out my tablet, and with my finger I can paint. And it's absolutely wonderful because there'll be something on the TV and uh, I might or might not want to watch it. But while, while I'm watching TV, I can actually sit down and, and just in a relaxed way do my lovely drawings. So could you show some of your drawings, please? Yeah, that'd be really good. This is one of my favourites. So the, the story here is that there was a group, autistic group, that came of children walking around the hoe and uh, this little boy came up and held my hand and uh, and he went off then and had a fight with somebody and then came back and held my hand again and then he was looking up at the sky and he was saying oh there's all these creatures in the sky all these dragons and horses and and, and other things and, uh, and then he'd run off again and have another fight with somebody and come back and as we were walking back around the site he said to me about these snow islands and I didn't understand what he was talking about and then after a while I twigged what he was seeing was the cross channel ferries that were very white against the very dark sky and I just had to draw this picture. So that's really interesting, have you got any more you could show us? Oh I've got loads, but this one here um, is, is very pertinent. Um, your wife Jackie actually made me a a, a, a knitted hat and uh, and it was in these really bright colours and it's fantastic and this picture here 
I had the idea as I was walking around the hoe that the hat was actually taking me for a walk around the hoe. And here is a picture of, of me walk, uh, the hat leading me past the uh, choppy waters. Go on Steve, show us one more. Okay, I, re I really like this one. So I'm in the hut working on the computer and uh, I, I go outside to get a breath of fresh air and, and the sky is full of uh, flying ants and it is just amazing. They go right up into the sky. And, uh, and I just stood there in amazement with the other people looking at all these wonderful, wonderful flying ants. Thanks for sharing those stories, Steve, and your inspirations with your artwork. Really brilliant. If you want to come along and experience this artwork yourself, the exhibition runs from the 1st of March through to the 2nd of May. Come along and look at this amazing stuff. Thanks, Paul. Um, thank you for this opportunity to uh, show my pictures um, and to go along with this exhibition we will actually be running some family events where people can have a go at making at doing their own painting with light